my, 21F, husbands, 30 meters, friends, they're black, made fun of me for being white and told him that surely his ex was better than me in bed. And just to clarify before someone says something yes, I, 21F, started dating him, 30M, when I was 17 but that's legal where we live. Yesterday they came to our house to visit us and after dinner I went to another room to do some projects for college while they were in the living room. After a few hours I went downstairs to drink water and I heard how they were talking about me. I only heard when his friend asked him if I was as good in bed as his ex-girlfriend, who is black, and he told him that for him I'm better because he loves me and because he likes the way I make him feel, which was very sweet of him since I lost my virginity to him and I don't have much experience with men. But what made me feel bad was that all his friends laughed and told him he was lying because there was no way a white girl could be better in bed than a black woman and my husband told him that it wasn't right to compare women. So the talk ended and after a few minutes they left and I told him that I heard what they said and how it hurt me to know that they hate me so much. He told me so many sweet things to me to make me feel better and told me that he will cut off contact with them for a while until they learn to respect me because I'm his wife and they need to understand that. But honestly that didn't make me feel any better because I feel betrayed. In these four years I had a good relationship with them and I considered them my friends too. And the way they tried to get him to say that he prefers his ex made me feel so bad. But I don't want him to lose his friends because of me. Should I let him cut off contact with them or pretend that nothing happened? His friends were being dicks. But how nice that he stuck up for you and kinda cut off the conversation probably not even knowing that you were listening. Says something about him. Would worry less about his friends honestly. Sometimes people are jealous of a good relationship and say mean things because of it. Good luck. And for those who said that black people can't be racist, here's an example. Raised eyebrow, raised eyebrow, raised eyebrow. Hashtag legal or not, it's still predatory and gross for someone his age to be dating a teen still in high school. Legal does not mean moral or decent. And he was the first person you were ever with sexually. Yikes. I mean look, age weirdness aside, your husband handled this well. This is gonna come off as crass. But for a long time you're possibly gonna be seen as that hot young piece of ass that their boy locked down. They were never your peers, even if they've been cool with you. And I'm a white guy so take this with a total grain of salt. But I can imagine that with the inherent struggles of growing up black, there's probably some standard ribbing, in some circles, for black men from their black friends in dating a white girl. Like she's a trophy and not really a serious thing. That even if they see and respect you as a person, regardless of color, that camaraderie that they share growing up is gonna make the default tick to stick with your own. Even if it's not seriously taken to heart. It sucks to hear. But it's probably not personal. I guess it was meant to give your husband a hard time, not to disparage you as a person. That said, due perhaps in small part to some of the above but mostly due to age. I'd be careful in assuming that these guys were ever actually your friends rather than just friends of your husband's that are cool to you out of respect for him. But again, your husband handled that ace. Roll with however he chooses to handle his friends in the future, and work on releasing the disappointment that they were ever yours. You all around. When you're 26, 27 and you look at 17 year olds you should ask yourself why the man you married would want to date a 17 year old. No matter how mature you were, someday you'll see it yourself. Or maybe if you have a child who is 17 dating a much older person. Hopefully not. Unsure how to explain I have a boyfriend without sounding like a dick. So I'm, F24, a pretty lonely person, never had a large amount of friends so I take my opportunities where I can get them. I've often had a difficulty in finding when the right time to let a guy know that I have a boyfriend, and maintain that I would like to be friends without making it sound condescending. If dropping it into conversation, or saying it up front, most men either jump straight to I didn't wanna fuck anyway get over yourself 
yourself or they just retreat never to be heard from again. I wish there was a way to say it and make it clear that whilst I have a boyfriend, I'm still looking for friends who are boys. Anyone have any go to lines or ways of getting through this? Edit, I wanna say thanks for the replies and the help. Wanted to clarify, as my post was rather vague that I'm not looking for men specifically to be friends with. I've always been a massive tomboy and like a lot of supposed male activities, so it's natural for me to want to be friends with both. I used to be 300 pounds plus and male attention was nothing I had to worry about. Most men would make it very clear they just wanted to be friends, but since I've lost the weight I've really struggled with being treated differently, and have been oblivious sometimes when people have flirted with me. I always tell my boyfriend when I've had bad slash funny interactions, and we laugh about it together. You can drop it casually in conversation without it feeling like you're assuming the guy is hitting on you. Oh, that show's great, my boyfriend and I have been watching it. Yeah, it's been so rainy lately, but my boyfriend loves this kind of weather, etc, etc. Any guy who is that aggressive about you dropping that you have a boyfriend probably wouldn't be a good friend regardless. The important thing is to not give off the impression that you are saying it because you think they are being creepy or hitting on you. To do that, you mention it in passing without being direct. Don't say I have a boyfriend. You could have just as well spit in their faces instead if they were just being friendly. Exaggeration. Alternatively, in a story mention that your boyfriend found it hilarious or at my boyfriend's parents house, etc. Obviously the point is to not go overboard with this either. Just in natural conversation. Bring it up in normal conversation, don't make it a big deal. If they get mad and disappear then bye, because they aren't there for platonic friendships. Just be careful, guys will still try even if you are in a relationship. Most men either jump straight to I didn't wanna fuck anyway get over yourself or they just retreat never to be heard from again. I wish there was a way to say it and make it clear that whilst I have a boyfriend, I'm still looking for friends who are boys. Their reactions are not your fault. It's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Those who retreat after you tell them you're not single were probably not interested in just friendship in the first place. Those who say they weren't interested are probably going sour grapes mode. Is there any reason that you are looking for male friends in particular? I casually mention my BF in conversation. Where can I, 25F, learn how to be better at sex for my husband, without watching porn? Hello, this is my first post ever so I'm sorry if I do anything incorrect. I, 25F, got married last year to the kindest most amazing man, 24 meters, in the world. We both waited to have sex until marriage. I love having sex with him, he's wonderful, but I feel like I could be doing more, I'm just not sure what or how to do it. I'm not normally a particularly shy person, especially with him. We've been together a really long time and were best friends before that, so I feel really comfortable with him. It's more like, maybe I'm not comfortable with myself, or like how to feel overtly sexy when it actually leads to sex so I feel shy? I don't know. I'm a perfectionist and I like to be good at things, but I have no context for how I'm doing or how to improve. I desperately love my husband and want to show him in creative ways, but again, I'm not sure what they are. I think most people learn from either porn or multiple partners. For us, Neither of us had multiple partners, and porn makes me very uncomfortable. I honestly wish there was like a really straightforward manual, like chapter 1, try this. See if you like. Chapter 2, if you do this, it will hurt the bad. Try lube. Chapter 3, if you do this, he will probably like it very much. We do communicate about this, but asking someone what they want you to do with them when you don't, in fact, have any experiences a little like the blind leading the blind. When he asks me if he can do anything better or what to try different, I never know what to say. I think he's a little shy in this area too. I don't know, 
It's his birthday soon and I just want to make him feel really good in every way I can. I just don't know how so I feel like I just keep doing the same basic things. Our love story is very unique and special in every other way. I don't want our sex life to be basic. Is there a place I can go to learn without porn? Something a little more like a how-to manual? A book or website or something? Not asking for anything too graphic but any advice yourselves? I should mention that we were both raised religiously, the facilitators of which tried their best but didn't always handle the subject of sex in a positive or open way. Most often it was either painted as bad or something that should never be talked about, ever. Since you don't have much experience with sex I'm guessing you don't have much experience with masturbation either. It's always good to know what you want, so try some stuff, play with yourself, figure out what you like, where you want to be touched, what feels good, what feels bad, everything. Also try masturbation together, watch you partner, talk about what you like, just play with each other. Sex is weird and never actually perfect. If you start trading stuff there's going to be a lot you don't like and things that go wrong and sometimes you just have to laugh it off. It doesn't have to be perfect, just have fun together. Hey op, this is a little graphic. I've been with the same partner since we were teenagers. These are some things that worked for me slash us. Glass jar full of sticky notes. Every time either one of us came across a fantasy or something we wanted to try we put it in the jar. After a date night or after suggestion we'd randomly pull a sticky note and try it. We'd talk about it first and just go for it. There will be awkward moments, laughter is okay during sex, and things that don't work. But remember finding out what you don't like is as important as finding out what you do. We also would pleasure ourselves while the other watched. It helped us at least understand how the other liked to be touched. Also, if you're a woman never underestimate lingerie. Get more bold, as you go. Start with something feminine and pink, work your way to leather. The bigger your lingerie collection, the bigger your mental state. For example when I wear something with lace and is a soft color, he knows I want romance, sweet. When something is red or black, and completely provocative he knows I want something a little different. Play around with it. And also read erotica, find phrases that turn you on, scenes, positions. Read Come As You Are by Emily Nagoski. Understanding yourself is the key to better sex. I honestly wish there was like a really straightforward manual, like chapter 1, try this, see if you like, chapter 2, if you do this, it will hurt very bad, try lube, chapter 3, if you do this, he will probably like it very much, I think there are books like that, the joy of sex was popular way back in the day, by going online and searching for books about sex, do you ever read trashy romance novels, sometimes they have some pretty explicit sex in them, I agree with the other post saying not to try to learn from porn also ordered the joy of sex thanks for the rec to you and the other person who recommended as well there's lots of info out there i just wanted to say avoid things like cosmo the shit they talk about is usually stupid af 